okay in this video I would like to talk about the process of transferring uh, output variables from a truth table into a K map for the purpose of uh, finding the minimized sum of product expression so I will use an arbitrary three variable K map for the uh, three variable truth table for the purpose and of course the K map will be also uh, of three variable so this is the truth table this is a this is an arbitrary one and a b c these three are inputs and x is the output so three variable input and this is output and we can see that there is a one there are four ones at the output so this one this this four and the corresponding inputs we can see here for the ones so when we want to transfer the truth table into a k map there will be eight uh, cells in the k map because there are eight inputs so each cell will correspond to each of the input uh, states basically so i am trying to draw the eight variable k map sorry so So here like that so this is uh, an eight variable K map there are eight cells and each of the cell will correspond to each of the uh, input situation input states basically so it goes like this the this one is zero zero one it corresponds to zero zero one and this is sorry this is zero 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 the first one then zero zero one then zero one zero zero one one it goes like this again one zero zero one zero one 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 zero and then one 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 so if we want to write in terms of a b c we can see that uh, we will write the most significant bit here and the second most significant or that is the second and third most uh, significant bits here so we can see that the most significant bit in this row is is always one because that's the most uh, always zero sorry that's the most significant bit so this row corresponds to a zero a is equal to zero that means a bar similarly here this row in this row a is always one so this row corresponds to a is equal to one that is a similarly if we want to look at this column this column here we will see that second and third these two are always zero that means b is zero c is zero so b bar c bar similarly b zero b one b zero b one like that in this uh, column so that will be b bar c here both b and c are one so that is b c and here we can see that b is one c is zero so that is b c bar so this is how we can we identify each of the uh, cells in the k map for three variable k map that's what i'm doing now i want to now what i have to do is i have to transfer all these we will transfer only the ones into the cell the zeros we will keep empty and with the ones we will form groups so i will come to that later so first we will place the ones in the corresponding cells so this is a one here and it corresponds to zero 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 that means in the first one so i need to use a different color maybe i will use a blue so that's a one there this is a one we won't write these uh, these digits in the cells so this is just to explain we will write just this part and this part we have to uh, memorize this one right memorizing means just understanding and then memorizing but this will we will keep empty so maybe what i will do at this stage i will erase these ones so that way it will look less clumsy and we will never write these uh, in the k map anyway so i will first erase all these and then i will go into placing the ones in the corresponding cells so this is zero 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 and this is our zero 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 similarly this one 
this one is 0 1 1 and we can now identify 0 1 1 from here as well 0 1 1 means 0 1 1 is a bar b c that's what 0 1 1 is because a is 0 that is a bar and b c so it will be this one this cell because this cell corresponds to a bar and b c similarly there is another one here which is 100 zero zero. One zero zero corresponds to 100 zero zero means a b bar c bar so that's a a here in the second uh, row and b c that is uh, sorry a b bar c bar so that will be here because this is b bar c bar and this is a that corresponds to this particular cell finally we have a one here which is one 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 that means a b c so a is here and b c is here so that's there so this is our k map we have placed all the ones in the k map now we will have to form groups so how do we form groups the groups will be like a group of ones but a, a group of adjacent ones and the size of the group will be either 2 to the power 0 that means 1 just 1 1 or 2 to the power 1 that is 2 or 2 to the power 2 that is 4 or 2 to the power 3 that is 8 so either 2 adjacent ones just 1 1 or 2 adjacent ones or 4 adjacent ones or all 8 adjacent ones since this is a uh, three variable came up the maximum number of ones can be a, a eight anyway because the maximum number of uh, combinations are just eight for three variables so here we can see that these two are adjacent these two this one and this one they are not adjacent so we can not form any group these two are adjacent so we can form this is one group now what will be the expression of the group the expression will be the common values so here we can see when the group is like that a is changing so that's not common what is not changing if we if we see this is not changing b bar c bar so the expression for this group will be b bar c bar so we will write b bar c bar similarly these two one these two ones are adjacent again so these two can be another group like that and again here we see that a is changing because here it's a bar and here it's a so the variable a is changing so that is not common what is common is only this one and that is bc so or the other part will come as an or and the second group will come as an or bc and this is our minimized sum of product expression from the k map now this is just a very basic and very simple one uh, but we have to do a lot of practice to understand this thing i made this video long ago i made a uh, few videos on kmap but this one i made and i saw that uh, well I, I i thought of making this video again and i will put the new link in the old video the new uh, link of the new video in the old video description probably so yeah this is just uh, again uh, a small video on the very basic of k map uh, transfer uh, k map from truth table basically